Hello everyone, this is Rishiel and welcome to this video about how you can make linked lists from scratch in Python. What we're going to be looking at is how, what a linked list is compared to a regular list and how you can implement one in Python. So basically what a regular list is in Python is it's just a bunch of blocks that reference values and those blocks don't contain the value themselves. Now a linked list basically has these elements except aside the elements is a pointer. In this case, it's just a reference to the next element in the list. So the list just goes on, and it's usually one direction, but then there's doubly linked lists which go both directions. These pairs of blocks are called nodes, and the first node is known as the head, or where you're gonna be starting if you're gonna be iterating over the linked list. The last node of the linked list points to a none type object, just to indicate that that is the last element of the linked list. And this is useful for a whole bunch of dynamic memory allocation data structures like stacks and queues, but I'm not gonna get into that into this tutorial. We're just gonna be looking at how you can implement one in Python. Now let's write a node in Python because nodes are not actually built into Python. So we'll have to create one ourselves. To start, we'll just create a class called node and the only thing we have to include is the initialization of it. So that will be our init. And the data we want is gonna be the self, that's obvious. Then we have our data that we want to put into that node, so the value of the node. And then we have the next node reference, which is gonna be none by default. And we'll just assign those to our self. So then we'll be able to actually use those throughout the code. And that's it for a node, since we only have those two elements in that structure of data. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a linked list class. Sort of like an array has its own class called list. And we'll create our initialization right here. And the only thing we need to include in this init function is the head, so the first node, recall. And that's gonna be default none. The reason it's gonna be none is because it's gonna be empty, while well, the list is gonna be empty when we first initialize it. So ll is equal to linked list. The only value in there is none. Well, I forgot to include self here. We want a good way to represent this list. So we could just create a method that says, hey, print everything in this list. Uh, but we're just gonna create a repr function. And here we have to basically take each node by iterating through the whole entire list and add it to a new list. So we're able to print that as a concatenated string. To do that, we'll need to keep track of what node we're currently on. And the node we're currently, we start with always is gonna be the self.head, or it's gonna be the head of the linked list. Then we're also going to need our the array I just mentioned, where we are going to be appending, or we are going to be adding the nodes onto, and we're going to need to iterate through every node. So we'll create a while loop that says while node is not none. Recall if the node is none, like the self.head right here, then it's gonna know that that is the end of the list. We're gonna take the data of the current node and append it to the nodes list. But we wanna convert this into a string because what if the data is a int? We'll just wrap this in a string object. And now we have to change the current node because remember we're iterating through the whole list. So we just changed the current node to be the next node of the node we were currently on. So basically how this is gonna work is we have our node, right? So let's say this is self.head. Uh, as our node, and it's saying, all right, we're gonna take that, the data that was in that node, it's now it's none um, for now, and we're going to append it to the nodes array. Then we're going to change our node to the next node of the current node, so the reference pointer. And at the very end, we wanna, we wanna um, make sure to show that the last node is pointing to a none type object. And we'll just do none nodes.append none, return an arrow that separates each data, the, each element in nodes. So what we have here is at the very end is just gonna represent that uh, the last node is pointing to nothing or none because that's empty. And then we're going to just return that list to the user, except it's gonna be a bit prettier because all of these elements are gonna be separated by these arrows just to represent that that node is pointing to the next node, which is pointing to the next node, which is pointing to none eventually. And that, to do that, we just use this join method. Now, if we print our linked list, and saying print linked list, we'll get none right here because there's nothing in the linked list. I don't actually think I need to, yeah, I don't think I need to actually write down print a linked list because of the 
programming using. But now we need to actually put things into our linked list. So there's two places where we're able to put things, the beginning and the end of the list. Putting it in the middle so much doesn't sort of destroy the purpose of the efficiency of the linked list, but not all the time. So um, we're just gonna do it for in the inserting at the beginning and inserting at the end. To do that, we'll just have our insert beginning function in which we'll of course take the self, but we'll also take the data that we want to insert. In the case that our head is none, we actually we actually have to deal with that by replacing the head with the data we want to uh, replace it with. So that'll be self.head is equal to node. So this is where we're actually creating a node and that'll just be where our data goes. We don't actually have to reference the, um, the next node here because recall it's gonna be none. And if there's nothing in the list, then there's only gonna be one element in there. And if there's only one element in there, then it's just gonna to point to none. And if it's the list is, the list actually has a first element, so it's not none, then we're just gonna make a new node. And of course, we're gonna put our data in there. But then we want that new node to point to the first node. And the first node is currently self.head. So now we basically have a new node point to the self.head, except the self.head is still the head. So we actually need to change the self.head to be our new node. And there you go, now we can test this out. So I'll type in ll.insert beginning, and let's just do two. So you can see when we print our linked list, you can see that it says two pointing to none. Let's say I wanted to make this one number two. So we're inserting at the beginning of the list number two, but then we're inserting before that number one. So you can see that works just fine. Now, what we're kind of commonly gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to append it to the end of the list. Let's just find a new function for that, called insert end. Of course, the same data, and we're actually gonna use the same conditional here. So if self.head is none, then we're just gonna pass that off to the insert beginning function, because we know that if the head of the linked list is none, then that means the linked list is empty. So we're gonna pass in our data and let that deal with that because we know that this condition is just gonna pass on anyway. And I'll show you why I'm not just repeating the code here, but either way you don't, probably don't wanna repeat the code um, cause that's not good practice, so. Now comes the part where we actually have to iterate through the linked list. And that, but that is actually a big O of N, which means you have to iterate through every element. But I wanna make a big O of one. To do that, Python can just check the last node. So in our init function for our linked list, we'll just track the last node and that will just be none because the last node and the head are both the same if there's nothing in the list. And they're also both the same if there's one thing in the list because if there's one thing in the list, the head of the list and the last node of the list are the same object. And when we're inserting at the beginning, we'll account for this too. So our saying self.last node is equal to self.head right here. So remember, if self.head is none, just means there's nothing in the list, and self.head is equal to node data, so we're just inserting our data at the very beginning of the list, and then we're also setting our last node to our head because we know that they're the same object. So now we can actually insert at the end of that by saying node is equal to node data. What this says is the last node currently is, well, let's say it's none right now, uh, the last node's next node so basically the node after the last node is going to be node data. So the last node is essentially just pointing to the new node that we've created, which is node data. But then we actually have to make the last node the new node that we've created. So that would be self.last node is equal to the new node we created. So self.last node dot next node. So this new node that we've created, which is at the end of our list now, is pointing to none. So we know that's at the end of the list and our last node has officially been reassigned to that new node that we've created. So that allows us to just switch our references. But now we can go down at the bottom and instead of saying insert uh, beginning, we'll just say insert end. So insert beginning two, so at the very beginning of the list, insert two, but insert after or insert at the very end of the list, insert one. And you can see it's like, why is none Why is none not moved yet? Well, that's because remember, none isn't actually a node. It's just pointing to nothing. It's a null. Well, it's not null. We don't wanna get confused with that, but it's just nothing is there. So if we want to reorder this list, uh, we could first say linked list dot insert 
beginning, number one. So basically we're inserting one at the beginning, inserting two after that, and inserting three after that. And then the more applicable way to do this is in order. So you can now do insert end and say, I want to insert number four at the very end. So I'm getting these Lua callbacks, by the way. These are, it's just something wrong with my Vim configuration. Uh, but now you can see it's just one, two, three, four. It's no longer going to insert it at the beginning. So now you're able to create a linked list in Python. So now you can go to Hacker Rank and just uh, finish those challenges, or you can just ace that job interview because you know more about linked lists ultimately, and you know how to implement one better with O of one, even if you are inserting at the end. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you'd like more content like this. Check out my new blog that I've just created, uh, which you'll find the same post on there if you want to see the source code. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next one.